Should we have like a cup of tea with a side of an eye mask? That's nice. Yeah, yeah. like a little snack for later. A little. And here to indulge into some self-care, just between stadium shows, Maisie Peters. Hello, everybody. How is it all going in Australia? This is your first time here. It is my first time in Australia. Been on some coastal walks. I've played some shows. I've seen many of your wildlife. If you're just retreating at home, maybe between tours or between mm. riding sessions, what is like your top self-care? Are you snuggled up in a little gowny? I like a candle. I like tea. Me and my housemates have these weighted blankets. Oh, they're um, so good. They're pretty serious. Are you ever in the studio and you're just like, oh god, I just want this day to be over, or I just need to like switch off? I think I make music to document. And when I'm writing as well, like when I'm inspired to write is when I want to remember something. I saw that there is a couple of songs on the record that you've dubbed the Trauma Trio. Is Body Better part of that? It is. Body Better is the first of the Trauma Trio. There's one you're back and there's two weeks ago. Somebody asked me the other day if there are any love songs on this album. Initially I said no, there are no love songs on this album. And then I was thinking and I was like, with the song two weeks ago, even though it is one of the trauma trio and it's so sad, there's like, without giving too much away, there is so much love within that song that it almost could be interpreted as a love song in, a, in the strangest way. The overarching theme of the record, if you had to like pinpoint a word or a feeling. I think it's sort of like a twisted breakup album. I think it's it was sort of this like outpouring of everything that I could do. And I feel like The Good Witch, obviously the title itself is much more insular. It's sort of referring back to me. I think that this album sort of I keep doing this sort of <laughs> it's it sort of it brings back further into myself I yeah. think so body better heartbreak breakup song what would be like your heartbreak hacks it's truly a truly a medicinal step is mute that Instagram cut them. them off you don't have to I'm a I'm not really a blocker or an unfollower it sounds like sounds silly and and Gen Z of me but I think that you should just do a mute or an unfollow like or whatever. Mute. <laughs> a or an unfollow or whatever. And just like really get used to living your life. That's my big hat. Someone was asking me the other day if we like go out a lot and I was like, no, like we were just gonna go to each other's houses and then just like sit and just like laugh and don't do anything. It's like a sleepover. Um, yeah, I actually think bring back sleepovers. Oh yeah. When I think of sleepovers, I remember going to my friends and watching like Crossroads, like Britney's film. You, you've seen, you haven't seen Crossroads? Britney Spears' film? Mm -hmm. It's when she covered like I love rock and roll and she's on like a road trip with her two friends that she was friends with in like primary school and the plot twist her mum was Samantha from Sex and the City. It sounds very iconic, I clearly need to get involved, I, mm. I don't know where I've been. See I'm going to say something and you're not going to know what it is now, so this is, good. <laughs> this is cultural differences. Okay. When I think of a sleepover movie, I think of Angus Thong as in Perfect Snogging. So iconic. Um, the girl that plays Georgia, who's the, the main character in Angus Thong's, went on to then marry Rupert Grint in the most iconic British love story of all time. Oh my god. And now they have a kid. But it's like a very iconic teen British film. Yeah. Like if you ask any like British girl my age, yeah. they have seen Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. It's like God tier sleep it's over like, movie. Yeah, like I guarantee you anyone. I love it. That was Self Care Sessions. Thank you so much, Maisie Peters. Thank you for having me. My twin sister used to like drag me to Phantom of the Opera. Like, Do you know what happened to this stuff? Do you? Mm -hmm. No way. Are you identical or fraternal? We are fraternal.